Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Higgles and today we are going to be taking a look at, uh, well basically by the title of the video you've seen, that we're going to be going over King of the Hill and why everyone's been doing it wrong. Um, so first of all, let's get this out of the way. This is from Dr. Yat. He wrote the article um, at uh, the website warrobotssu.blogspot.com. Um, and he does an article. I don't, I don't. I can't remember if it's weekly or whatever. But the, he does an article quite regularly, um, and all the information from this article goes from Tupac from the Clan Ancient Warriors, which they're on iOS. They're Clan Tagus AW. Anyway, let's hop into it. So basically, we've all been doing, or most of us have been doing, King of the Hill wrong. So I'm going to kind of give an exposition of this article and not just read it. So the first thing he starts off by saying is each beacon gives 200 points. Now, I never knew that. That's kind of crazy um, to know that each beacon, like if you stayed on the beacon, as soon as it turned, you turned it, and then you walked away when it was done, you just got 200 points. Now, if you turn a beacon and walk away, the, it takes three minutes for that beacon to deplete, and it will deplete all the way with no one there. Um, so really, if, if no one's standing in the beacons, and it's a 10-minute game, you'll only ever have four beacons active. Now, if you're standing in them, obviously they're going to go faster, but the other thing is that regardless of how many people are standing in the beacon circle, the top of the screen, that blue bar for you, or the red bar, or whatever... It goes up the same amount whether you have one person in there or whether you have five people in there. The only thing that extra people do is make the beacon drain faster. Excuse me. And more people get the beacon points. So that that means a lot because I never really thought about it that way. I never thought that if no one's in the beacon, then we're not really getting the same points. So... I mean, you do. You Your team gets those points. Now, this kind of comes into the team play aspect of it because if, you, if you're thinking about it the way that I'm thinking about it, that means that to control the battle, you either want to have everyone on one beacon to get it gone really fast or to turn the beacon and run away from it and let it sit there while you, in, you know, annihilate the other team, right? So... By controlling the the pace of your beacons, you can control the pace of the game and therefore make it in your favor. But I would say that this makes King of the Hill a very uh, squad-based game mode. Like, if you want to do well at King of the Hill and you want to play it this way, um, then, you know, you want to be on squads and you want to be on comms. Um, because if you're playing just normal mode, uh, just solo mode, you know, random king of the hill, then a lot of people either aren't going to know this or they're not going to care because, again, each beacon offers 200 points. Now, if you walk away from it, yeah, your team is getting the blue bars going up the same amount, but you're not getting those beacon points. So at the end of the game, if you lose or even if you win, the person with the most beacon points is the top player, right? So you kind of have to have like a... a, a team central mindset of it's not really about me it's about the win um so it, he's got some gameplay here they won and look they 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 had less time than than the enemy team like the enemy team had far more time than they did but their damage is huge and they had control of the beacon i'm gonna say for most of the battle because they turned it and then ran away, and then did all this damage while the beacon was on their side. And these guys probably, I mean, they have a little over 400, so they had to at least get three beacons, or almost three beacons, to get that. Or this guy, he probably sat in or stayed in each beacon, um, but these guys, all these squad guys, went and, and turned it, and they ran away and killed the opposition. Now, you're saying, what does this have to do with strategy? Well... Let's hop over to the game, and we'll kind of talk about that. All right. So we're in the game here. So the first beacon that turns on every single King of the Hill map first is the center beacon, right? So as you notice, the beacon right now is turning 
it's it's basically draining itself and it's because no team or I haven't turned it I'm not getting it so let's say that I turn the beacon so it, it'll it'll dissolve on its own or whatever but let's go ahead and turn it and I'm gonna deplete it now um, like I said you know just a little bit ago it'll, it'll deplete itself and it'll take three minutes to deplete itself but with me here it should take roughly a minute and a half um, and it gets faster and faster obviously the more people that are in it now we're gonna see where it's gonna go next so okay so obviously it would be going to the enemy team now we're gonna step out of it okay so it would be going to the enemy team next so uh, what a lot of people would be doing at this moment in time and what I was doing is I would turn around and run and as soon as that this changed and they turn theirs I would run to say um, I think this is beacon B whatever um, and and grab this beacon and and then wait for it and then get my points and then you know run to this one and then get my points and then run back to center when center is um, is open again but that's really not the way you want to play it it's really not that's a very uh, single player me in this game mode mindset the way you would really want to play it is you really never want to leave here if you're on squads and you're on comms and you want a guy who's got a, 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 a fast hanger who's basically dashing and getting these outer beacons and then coming back in and holding down center it's all about the center beacon because honestly each team is almost depending on how good they are and how good you guys are and if there's an overwhelming difference in power but usually each team is going to get their respective beacons their home and their side beacon which is you know gonna gonna give like a fourth of their bar right so maybe maybe a little bit more but this it's all about center beacon, so you know I can get, they can get their front home inside. I can get my home inside, but it all comes down to the difference being center. So you don't want to leave center; you want to hold center because it's going to come back. And a game will only usually get two to three opportunities for the center beacon to to go up. So a, the the best strategy that I've come up with so far is to run out, have someone change the beacon. And then run back in and that way you're getting the most points because if everyone's here defending the beacon while this one's turned then you're still getting the beacon points for it and you're holding control of the map and forcing them away and a lot of people don't know this yet a lot of people don't play this way so you and your team would have a large advantage when playing this way um, and you're gonna have a better win percentage in King of the Hill um, because you now have a better understanding of, of how the game mode works. But, you know, you're going to have to play every match the way it is, and sometimes you might need to run away and deplete a beacon really fast because they're all they're all regrouping, so depleting a beacon really fast and then coming back might, might be more beneficial. I don't know. But play it how you see fit. I uh, really wanted to let you guys know, in case you hadn't read the article, um, that's that's how it's going. That's, that, that's the basic principle of King of the Hill that we never really got when it was released. Um, last thing, as you can see, the beacon mark, the beacon meter, it's almost depleted completely and it's taken like almost three minutes. So it, it will deplete and if no one go get no one goes and gets it, it'll just be it'll be gone. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you want to see more content from me. You know, until next time, take care.